Hi everyone, this is Terry. I was asked how could you create a broken heart using the shapes tools in my design center. So let me show you how I created this heart. Let me go ahead and save it to memory. And then we'll go back to home and choose okay. All right, what we're going to do is go to my design center. In my design center, what we want to do is select shapes and choose the heart choose okay now that we have this heart on the screen what we want to do is make a few edits so we can split it in half let's go ahead and zoom in to about 400 percent let's get the eraser i like to choose a small size so i'll move down to about nine and i like to use the square eraser now what i want to do is to erase the tip of that heart that's going to give me two halves and i'll go ahead and go down to the bottom and do the same thing the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and move these two halves apart and if you happen to own upgrade kit one it's easier to make that selection but if you don't you can also select it with the selecting tools that you have so if you have upgrade kit one just go ahead and take the pencil and select one half while it's selected go to size and just move it over a bit because you're going to have stitches between these two halves while you're there go ahead and select the other half by choosing the selection tools the pencil we'll select that other half of the heart and we'll go to size and we'll move it over a bit if you don't have the upgrade kit one you need to choose your selection box here and what you'll need to do is zoom in so that you can go right between the center and draw your bounding box around that heart so what i'm talking about is you would want to come straight through the center like i'm doing and i'm using a mouse and once i've done that i'll move over to the side and then i can select that and move that portion all right now that i have moved these over into the middle i have a black thread that is selected and it's a zigzag i'm going to use it at first to delineate the broken part of the heart just so you can see it but before i do that i do want to color in the outline of the half of the heart and just a moment i need to make sure that what i do is i select the bucket and when I select that bucket, I'll apply it to both halves of the heart. So now you see that I have two halves of my heart and they're red. Now I'll go in and select black or any other color. I just want to be able to distinguish between the halves. I'm going to zoom in to about 200%. And I also want to get the point to point tool. This is going to give you a nice sharp point. So what we're going to do is we may need to zoom in just a little bit more. We want to connect to the top of that heart. And you can see that I made a mistake. I need to undo because I need to have that point to point tool. And I'll click on the end of that red heart or somewhere near it. I'll be able to adjust that later. And what I'm trying to do is make that broken line that goes down to the center. Now, obviously you can make this angle a greater angle if you want to, but I need to connect down at this point. All right, now that I've done that, I can go ahead and click off of that tool. And what I want to do is I want to be able to see if I have everything lined up to the end so let me just select the bucket for a moment and then i'll go ahead and at 400 percent or 800 percent i'll zoom in to see if those two pieces are joined it does look like there's a little break there and this looks like it's it's a little bit over the end so i'll take the eraser and i'll erase a little bit of this point there and then i'll move down and this looks like these two pixels are actually touching so we'll choose okay now let's go ahead and we need to follow that same outline by taking the 
point-to-point -point tool. We'll go back and uh, leave it as black. So let's choose black again and choose OK. And now what we want to do is we want to follow the shape of the other outline. So by that, I mean the angle of that other outline. So you'll notice that I'm keeping it some distance away because I need to allow for those satin stitches. And we're zoomed in at 800%. So I may actually even need to move my, my parts apart or my halves. We'll see in a moment. So we'll go ahead and let's just connect to this point. And then let's go ahead and take the bucket and we'll make that red as well. So we'll choose that red, choose OK, and we'll apply that. All right, let's go ahead and go to next. This would be a good time to save to memory. I've done this a couple of times, so I, I really don't feel like I need to do that. And you can see now that I have those halves set up and I do have adequate space for my satin stitch. If I didn't, what I need to do is I need to return and I need to select those portions. And this is another way you'll see if you have everything selected and I need to go to size and move it over some. So I can move it over some and I'll choose OK. Let's just go into our settings and change our stitches to millimeters because I prefer stitches in millimeters. And then let's go ahead and go to next. And I like to use about three and a half millimeters on my stitches, but let's go ahead and link everything together. So you see it's all linked. We'll go ahead and change this to three and a half millimeters and choose OK. You can see we have adequate space. This would be a good time to save to memory. And let's set it. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I try to set up everything in playlists. Those that are related for the new owners are in a numbered series. It's called the New Owner Series. Thank you for your time today, as always.